Hey everyone, it's Lucy from kbeautyhobby.com. Today I'm going to show you my nice relaxing evening skincare routine for combination skin. This video is not sponsored, however I want most of the things I'm about to show you from Yes Style, and I do have an affiliate code with them, kbhobbit. I will put that down in the description box. It stacks with their existing discount codes, you just have to enter it under reward code and then their existing discount codes under discount code for the max savings. And before we even start, I noticed that I have a nice toddler bite right here because I just got done putting the little people to bed. My first step is a nice cleansing oil. I am using this Japanese one called Kumano Cosme Cleansing Oil. It's a really interesting texture or I guess it's not that interesting, but it's a lot thicker than any other cleansing oil I've used recently, and it smells like gummy bears. I'm not anti-fragrance. If there's something available fragrance-free, I'll get that option, but if not, fragrance is okay, and sometimes I actually enjoy it, and this is one of those times. If you're not familiar with oil cleansers, their purpose is to break down any oil soluble things like makeup, sunscreen. I'm not wearing a ton of makeup, but I do have a sunscreen on, of course, and you probably noticed how shiny my face looked. It's interesting because it's not greasy or sticky, it's just from the sunscreen forming that film on the skin, and in real life, uh, it actually doesn't look that shiny, but then on camera it's a lot shinier. This cleansing oil has been wonderful at getting everything off, including all kinds of different mascaras. The mascara I have on right now is Hymish. It's a tubing mascara, so you'll see it, it's coming off in little clumps. And it's because you don't technically need a cleansing oil to remove that. You just need to get it wet and it will slide off in like tubes. And then don't forget the neck to get my shirt all messed up but you know my toddler already bit it so it's fine it's all fine i'm going to add some water and massage more and you'll see the oil or hopefully you'll see the oil is starting to emulsify i can feel it but i don't know how well it shows on camera but this is why I like cleansing oils versus like some people like to cleanse with regular what I'd consider cooking oils like coconut oil. The cleansing oils are formulated to emulsify and rinse off cleanly without leaving anything behind. So now I'm just going to go ahead and rinse it off. I usually cleanse right before I take a bath, like while I'm sitting in the tub. And I forgot what a total pain in the butt it is to cleanse over the sink and have the water splashing everywhere. Not to mention I have my filming equipment balancing awkwardly on the sink here. Next is a water-based cleanser. I have this B-Lab Matcha Hydrating Cleanser. Matcha seems to be just super popular lately because I'm seeing matcha chapstick. I have one and I really like it. And then I have another matcha product coming up in this routine. And of course, this is that iconic Crave Beauty matcha cleanser. It looks like this when it comes out. It looks slightly green with little inclusions there. I always work my foaming cleansers into a lather in my hands versus applying them straight up to the skin and then lathering them off the skin. And it's supposed to be more gentle that way. I read this book called The Japanese Skincare Revolution a couple of years ago, and that was one of the tips from there. So the purpose of this cleanser now is to finish taking off anything that the oil cleanser left behind. It smells really nice, like matcha, and it's not overpowering. I actually, I love this cleanser. It's so, so gentle and it just feels so good. And I don't know if you can see, like the foam is really kind of subtle or like it's really gentle. It's not a huge, huge bubble, but it just glides on the skin so nicely. I, I almost don't want to stop. It just feels so, so good. My hair is slowly but surely coming out of my twist on the back. Next, I have this Sun By Me Super Matcha Clay Mask. 
It's made with Centella and BHA, so it can improve the appearance of pores and regulate sebum production. And Centella is soothing for any redness and irritation. It looks like this, really creamy. It does smell a little bit like matcha. And then some kind of other, a little bit more perfume. The cleanser really smells like actual matcha, uh, which I enjoy consuming. Not the cleanser, the matcha. <laughs> this one smells like matcha with some sort of other fragrance, but I don't hate it. What I don't love about this product are the official instructions. It says to apply to dry skin, but it's supposed to be clean. Well, if I cleanse my face and then don't do anything to it and just allow it to dry, it really is going to dry out. It'll be a bunch of transepidermal water loss. And then the instructions say to allow this to completely dry on the face before washing off. And I used to do that when I was younger, in my really misguided years, back when I was using rubbing alcohol wipes to get the oil off my face because I thought that would make it less oily. But allowing clay masks to dry on the skin can be very, very harsh and very drying. I actually noticed that just keeping them on for like 10 minutes, and I usually do these while I'm taking a bath, so all the humidity actually helps them not, not dry into a kind of a, a crisp anyway, but I noticed that just allowing them to sit on the skin for 10 minutes or 15 or whatever without letting them dry and then washing them off is good enough. Like it still works, but it's so much more gentle and it's actually a lot easier to wash off too when it's not all caked on. I'm going to let it sit for a little while I'm going to hop in the shower, take a shower and wash this all off. That will not be on camera, don't get excited. And then I'll be back and show you the next step. Shower is done, mask is off, my face feels so soft. And I just love a good clay mask as long as it's not drying, which the Sun By Me is not drying. And I usually try to do one maybe a couple times a week. You'll notice my face is still wet, that's on purpose. I actually stopped using face towels a while back and I would say I let it air dry, except I don't. I go ahead and apply everything when it's still moist, and I've noticed how much better my skin is and how much more hydrated it is. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Haru Haru Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. It has the Black Rice Complex, Beta Glucan, Hyaluronic Acid. Of course, one doesn't have Hyaluronic Acid anymore. It has a slightly thicker than water texture. It's not quite as thick as Claire's um, down scented, what is it called? Supple Prep toner that everybody loves. And this is not unscented. Um, this may be artificial fragrance free, I'm not sure, but it definitely smells very much like lavender. I don't mind it and my skin does not react poorly to lavender oil or fragrances, but if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, this is not for you. I really enjoy it, however. And I extend all of my skincare down to my chest, except for anything that's like potentially irritating, some harsh exfoliants, although I don't really use very harsh exfoliants, but if I were, I'd probably skip my neck area with those. Before that has a chance to dry, I go in with my essence. I'm using this Dewy Tree Snail Essence One Ultra Vitalizing, Vitalizing Snail Essence Water. The instructions for this are confusing to me. So this one is thicker, thicker than the toner. And the instructions say to use a cotton pad and that the purpose of this hydrating essence is to finish removing impurities and i'm reading that i'm like come on are you confused this is not a cleansing toner of like the 90s this is a hydrating essence if by the time you get to the essence step so after double cleansing you still have impurities left on your face you're not cleansing right or you're not using the right cleansers and this is really nice and hydrating and snail mucin is one of those you either love it or you hate it ingredients. My skin does really well with it and it supposedly can boost collagen production. It can be healing and revitalizing. Some people don't react well to it and this has a really nice 
subtle scent to it that I don't mind. Next, I have the Haru Haru Black Rice Serum. This still has that same black rice complex as a pump. And it kind of looks like a gel. That black rice complex has 100 antioxidant compounds to help combat some of the damage our skin takes. It smells exactly like the toner. So if you hate the Haru Haru toner smell, you are not going to like this. I like it. I do wish that while I'm not anti-fragrance, I do wish that more things were fragrance free. Just because then more people would be able to enjoy them. People with sensitivities. However, when I want to relax, I do enjoy this lavender scent. And I could use a relaxing routine tonight because everybody in my family is sick. Everybody's coughing. The kids have fevers. It's not fun. I seem to have been spared mostly except for the sniffles so far, but we'll see what happens. And now again, before anything dries, I seal everything in with a moisturizer and this is the same line the haro haro black rice hyaluronic cream they call the package instagram worthy because it is Let's see it always farts at me when i get it out let's see if it does today oh it didn't oh there it is <laughs> okay the little fart at the end Another thing I read in that Japanese skincare revolution book is that if you warm up your skincare products between your hands before applying them, they can actually work better and penetrate deeper. I don't always remember to do that, but I try to. I highly recommend that book if you haven't read it. My husband bought it for me maybe three years ago for Christmas, maybe even four years ago now. And it's just, it's very interesting. There are a lot of different little techniques in it with facial massage and all kinds of things. It's written by a well-known Japanese cosmetologist and she is in her wiser years now, so she's seen a lot and including her own skin, how it ages. Again, smells exactly like the other two products, but when it sets in, when it dries down, the finish is wonderful. It's very velvety and not greasy and not sticky. I didn't forget about the eyes. While you technically don't need a separate eye moisturizer, I still enjoy a separate one because I usually pick ones that are a little bit richer than the ones that I use on my face. This Claire's Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter is one of my absolute favorites. I hate really heavy eye products because I have these hooded eyes and they, the eyelids tend to get really oily. When I was little, I always said my eyes were sweating, but now that I'm not so little, I understand that they just get oily. And so to put something really heavy on top, I just don't enjoy that. But this butter, even though it's called butter, it's very nourishing, but it's not heavy and it's not sticky. And it doesn't tend to migrate into my eyeballs like some of the other products do and it doesn't irritate anything. For mornings, I like the Claire's I gel from the same line, but for evenings I like the cream and if I'm feeling super fancy, I'll do the gel first in the evening and then the cream. Last but not least, I'm going to do a little lip thing. I have this DHC lip cream. I do like a good mask before bed, like in a tub. I'm using Clavu right now, it's really good. But I'm not going to bed quite yet. I'm going to go have some alone time without anybody tugging on my leg or my sleeve. So I don't want to have like sticky um, lips right now because I'm probably going to go have some water or whatever, I don't know. So I'm just going to do this. And I use this during the day as well. It's, it's really nice. There we go. That is it for my skincare routine tonight. If you have a question, please leave me a comment. You can find me on Instagram at kbeautyhobbit, on my blog kbeautyhobbit.com, and in my Facebook group Korean Beauty Fanatics. I will see you in my next video. Until then, please remember to always listen to your skin. Thank you so much.